tonight on Air Arms TV, we're taking a closer look at the ultimate sporter with our man of South Africa, Matt Dubber. Arms have been producing world-class rifles for decades now and for almost 10 years I've been shooting with Arms PCPs. Uh, the first PCP that I ever shot with was an S410 carbine and since then there's been no looking back. I've shot competitively with the S200 and MPR, I've hunted for years with the S510 Extra but there's a new kid on the block, a rather powerful kid and uh, this big boy right over here has impressed me more than any other PCP that I've managed to get my hands on so far. Now make no mistake, the internal mechanics of the Ultimate Sporter are exactly the same as the S510 but what makes this rifle special is the beautiful laminate stock. If I could sum this rifle up in one word it would be adjustability. This rifle gives you almost endless options when adjusting the stock to suit your requirements and this has a hugely positive impact on your ability to shoot comfortably. The rifle comes fitted with front and rear swivel studs allowing you to fit a sling and bar pod right out of the box and the stud on the front is actually on an accessory rail, meaning you can slide it forward and backwards to suit the situation. I was extremely impressed with the attention to detail that's gone into the design of this gun. When you buy an air arms rifle, you know it's going to be with you for the rest of your life. And when you have a gun that long, you begin to appreciate the small things. Take the air arms logo etched into the pistol grip for example or the trademark swirl on the end of the barrel. These are the small things that make the rifle something that you can stare at all day long. The extra or high power version of the Ultimate Sporter features a slightly different design. The barrel and the air cylinder have been extended to give you more power and a higher shot count and a small knob on the breech block allows you to dial the power to exactly where you want it which is a great feature for somebody who might be hunting let's say rabbits by day and rats by night. But I'll tell you why this feature is absolutely essential for those of you who really take your shooting seriously. I've noticed that most air gun manufacturers have started producing high powered air rifles that are just shooting way too hot. Now I'm not going to go into all the theory behind pellet stability, I don't want to bore you. But just know that when a pellet passes through the transonic zone, which is roughly between 900 and 1300 feet per second, it loses all its stability. So by purchasing a rifle that's shooting at 1200 feet per second for example, you're really not doing yourself a favour. Air arms have been really smart and allowed you to dial that power to that sweet spot of around 860 to 920 feet per second regardless of what caliber or pellet you decide to use and allow you to take your shooting to the next level. To show you just how accurate this rifle is, I went out and I shot a whole bunch of groups at distances ranging between 25 and 100 yards. On full power this gun was shooting at about 40 foot pounds but I turned the power down to 30 foot pounds and the accuracy absolutely blew me away. This right here is a 25 yard group, 5 shots, it's an absolute joke for this gun. And at 50 yards this is what you can expect, these are 10 shot groups, JSP 15.9 grains at the top and 18.1 grains at the bottom, it's absolutely dead on. Crony testing revealed that despite not being regulated, this rifle will give you superb consistency if shot within a certain pressure range. I managed to get about 40 consistent shots when shooting between 190 and 150 bar. When hunting you want a rifle that's easy to reload and a rifle that's quiet when fired and the Ultimate Sporter gives you both. The 10 shot magazine is extremely easy to load and the side lever enables you to cock the rifle effortlessly. When the time comes to take the shot the full length shroud keeps the muzzle report to a minimum. There's also the option of fitting a silencer like the Q-Tech which will reduce the noise levels even more. One of the things I love most about this gun is that it's an all-purpose rifle. When hiking up mountains after rock hurricks, I can take the silencer and the bar pod off, sling it over my shoulder and have the same amount of power in a fairly compact package. 
It's easy to maneuver in thick foliage and it's light enough to carry around for a very long time. However, if I'm smacking pigeons at long range, I can take the sling off, put the bar pod in silencer and have a dead quiet, sturdy rifle that will perform up to 100 yards plus. Now here's the cool part about this review. I'm not just someone who's picked up this rifle today and was asked to talk about it. I already know this gun intimately. I've done pest removal job shooting house sparrows and pigeons, and I've hunted for food as well, shooting hyrax, Egyptian geese, yellow bull ducks, guinea fowl, hares, spring hares, you name it. So if you're looking for an all-purpose rifle that adjusts to suit the way you shoot, you'll definitely want to consider the Ultimate Sporter. It's one of those rare gems that you'll want to hang on to your whole life. I know I'll be very reluctant to let go of this one. And I think there's some ducks on the stand behind me right now. I think I'm going to go shoot one or two. I'll see you around. To find out more about Mad Dubber, search for Air Arms Hunting SA on YouTube. To find out more about the Air Arms S510 Ultimate Sporter FAC in 2.2, visit airarms.co.uk. And click one of the boxes below to choose another amazing air powered video from Team Wild TV and subscribe to be kept up to date with all the new shows and videos. You and Air Arms, a winning combination.